to my very first vlog. Um, a few weeks ago, I asked my Facebook friends for any recommendations on vintage or rockabilly stores in Australia. And seeing as my birthday is coming up, I treated myself to a bit of a selection of sweet stuff. Um, I thought my first vlog would be an unboxing video, but I was so excited, like a kid on Christmas, that I just ripped those bad boys open. Um, so it's more of a haul, I guess. Uh, please feel free to comment below if you'd like any extra information on any of these items as I won't be listing prices or sizing details along the way. I was just showing the variety from stores and stockists in Australia. Um, the very first package I received came from Gwynny's Emporium. Gwynny's is a cute boutique in Quimbian. They have a range of vintage rockabilly brands. Um, if you order before 2.30, they ship it the same day. Um, my favourite thing is that they wrap it up in pink tissue paper and ribbons, like a cute little gift. Um, so perfect for a birthday present to myself, or if you want to order from them and send it to a friend for their birthday, it will be all wrapped up, and it's so cute. Um, and I was, again, I was so excited, I just ripped it open. Um, I did post a picture on my Instagram so I can show you what it looks like, but yeah. Um... So, the first item I chose from them was the black Hell Bunny circle skirt, which is the essential for any rockabilly wardrobe. Um, the only downside is Hell Bunny skirts rarely have pockets. Not that it's a deal breaker. It still swooshes up when I twirl like a child, so I love it. And the next one I chose is by Band Apparel, and it is their Wonderlust skirt. And Band Apparel always has. So, big tip there. So cute. Check out that print. So, something a little bit Tropicana is also the quintessential for a vintage rockabilly Cos um, outfit uh, or costume if you have a costume party. But I'm not big into like the Hawaiian prints. So, something a bit more flamingo is more me. Next from there, I ordered two belts. And the first is the Hell Bunny black elastic belt, but it's actually too big for my waist. So if anyone knows how to alter the elastic without damaging it, please let me know. And next is this cute purple belt, which my Nen saw and she loves. She says she used to wear these, and these are obviously reproduction, but add a super vintage touch to your outfits. And the best thing is because they are elastic with this clasp, it fits every waist. And these come in, they both come in a variety of sizes, but I found this was the better fit. Now, in September, little Jay and I are going to Tokyo. While we're there, we'll be going to Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea for the Halloween event. I thought the purple belt with a black skirt would be perfect for an Ursula themed Disney bound. So I'm really excited to rock that at Disney. Um, next is this so super cute top. It is um, from Hell Bunny. It is their bubble and sweet blouse. It's super light. It has this Peter Pan collar you tie up with the ribbon. The whole print is seashells and seahorses and bubbles. But my favorite thing about it, it has these little, I don't know if you can see that, little seashell buttons. So, so cute. So that is definitely all of this stuff. I'm just packing for Tokyo. Um, next is the uh, by Collective. It is the Rainy Gypsy Floral Top. It's again so light. You can wear it puffed up, off the shoulder, black with the cute florals. Um, anyone that knows me knows how much I love pink. So I couldn't resist this Hell Bunny Kyoto cardigan. And it's my new favourite cardigan. So soft. It has these fan detailings. Just adorable. Oh, can't wait to wear that. <laughs> um, I love hair accessories just as much. So I stocked up with the Collective Orchid Clip Band Apparel Chiffon Scarves in purple and black. Um, and I got the Collective Martha belt, it's got just a waist belt, and it's got a gold buckle, and I also picked up a Gwynny's hair clip. So all of this that I've shown already has come from Gwynny's Emporium. 
Next is from Atomic Cherry, and Atomic Cherry are based in Brisbane. And all these stores sort of have cute surprises when you order. Um, Gwinnies have the wrapping, but Atomic Cherry sent me out some sweet popping candy. So that's a nice surprise. Um, first, a quick shout out to two of my friends, Pete and Onico, because they're going to love this. It's from Rock Rubble, and it is this Monsters shirt. Now, Monsters fans will know how hard it is to find cool Monsters merchandise. Um, but Tom and Cherry actually has quite a few things, and I was finding this neat tee with the whole family, 1313, Mockingbird Lane, and the Dragula. All of that from them. Um, I'm so proud because little Jay is a Monsters fan too. So he thinks Herman is hilarious, and with the green on it, his favourite colour, he thinks I'm the coolest mum with the coolest t-shirt. So, win. <laughs> um, next are these sweet hair accessories. Um, the first is just the basic Atomic Cherry Black Bows that go with everything. You know, put them one on, you can double up, load your hair up with bows. You'll never have enough bows with a vintage outfit. And next is the South Pulse hair scarf, which is pumpkins, bats, black cats, number 13, skulls, all things I love. And it's actually this one of the silk ones. So if you do a wet set rollers of a night, you can chuck this on over your rollers, sleep in it, and it'll contain the prints. Finally, oh, I treated myself to a unique vintage top. Unique vintage have the cutest things, and I love their Disney collection, but they're US based, which for us in Australia means ridiculous shipping costs and exchange rate. I wanted one dress from them, and it was going to cost me $40 US to have it shipped. Crazy. But Tom and Cherry, as well as a couple of the others, still find pieces here and there. And I was able to find the Rita Halter Top. Um, kind of hard because it's to show on camera because it's all black. But it does have a sweetheart neckline. And you cross it over. So you get this cute crisscross. And it has a double fasten at the back. Um, as well as a zip. And I, it, they come in a range of colours and prints. But I went with black. Black goes with literally everything I own. So, there you have it. And that's all from Atomic Cherry. Next, I got some personalised tees from Tee Public. They're not really Rockabilly Vintage, but they go with one of the things I got from my next item. So, as I mentioned, little Jay and I are going to the Halloween event in Disney Tokyo. And my absolute favourite ride is the Haunted Mansion. It's Halloween, it's creepy, it's Disney, it's just a story of my life. So, a Haunted Mansion themed outfit was a must. Um, so I had a Grim Grinning to Ghost Tea made for Little J, and a Haunted Mansion is my homemade for myself. And the cool thing about Tea Public is they have thousands of artists on there and designs, and I will um, refer the artists in the description. And these can they make to order, came from the US, but they only charged me about six dollars shipping. Um, the package itself was 0 0.4 pounds, so they don't charge much because it's next to nothing. Um, and you get tracking with all that too. And now to go with that tea, I bought the most amazing skirt from Berserk. It is the swishiest, cutest, purplest tutu of a skirt from Hell Bunny that I plan on rocking in Disney with that Want to Mention shirt. So, so pretty and it's so soft and it's actually really comfortable to wear, like it's not scratchy. Um, anyway, so Berserk are uh, located in Melbourne and it, if you order before 3pm, they do ship the same day. Um, Gwinnie's does actually ship the same day, but I'm not too sure on what time I have to order by. I mean, Berserk sent some surprises in their order too. You get like a cute little heartbeat candy, you get a couple of different um, designs of cards, stickers, it's all cute. Um, next is the Fun Mermaid Salon Foundation Brush, and it comes in this cool case, so you can wash it, dry it, and store it in this hygienic case, which for OCD German person like me is perfect, and I love all things mermaid, obviously, mermaid hair, little mermaid, I would break out in song, but I can't sing, so this chubby brush was a must. And it is so, 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 so soft. I can't wait to test it out and see how it goes with a liquid foundation. Um, and I love Creep Heart, so I chose two sets of new earrings. 
One set is the bats, and the next is this cute, I don't know if you can see clearly, a moon and a star. From there, I got this cool Bride of Frankenstein tea. I thought it was really cute and different because it's her putting on her makeup and he's just sort of waiting for her to finish getting ready, uh, which is most men's lives. Um, but the, the Bride of Frankenstein in pink. Finally, last but not least, the very final piece. I'm so excited for this. I am a huge Johnny Cash fan. I love all things Johnny Cash, June Carter Cash, Jerry Lewis, Elvis, all of that. That's my jam. And uh, to the point I named Little J after my favorite Johnny Cash and June Carter duet. Um, last year, my family and I went to the Johnny Cash Museum in Nashville. I was a little disappointed at the limited selection of women's clothing. Um, they sort of had like a ladies section here and a men's section there and register and like knickknacks, but it wasn't a lot of clothing. And I only managed to find one t-shirt in my size. I was so disappointed because they had like this really cool cardigan, these cool tops, tees, blouses, none of it my size. And then um, I actually got to the register and coincidentally, my dad bought the exact same shirt as me in the men's size. So I'm twinning with my dad. Forget twinning with your bestie. Twinning with your dad is where it's at. But um, I <laughs> live in this t-shirt. It's my favorite. And I finally found the perfect skirt to go with it. This is the Tennessee by Hell Bunny. Da -da -da! <gasps> so cute. I love the print. Oh, um, the only downside, as before, is with Hell Bunny, there's no pockets, but it's not a deal breaker. It is such a cool brim. I can't wait to see how it looks with my shirt. So that is everything. 10 out of 10 would recommend all of these stores. You get amazing customer service. They're very quick. Most things I ordered on Monday and they arrived on Wednesday. That is how quick it is. And I'm on the Central Coast. So for things to come from various places in Australia, so fast. Um, if anyone would like to see what these outfits look like on, let me know and I'll do like an outfit of the day kind of video. Um, thank you so much for watching and everyone who gave me suggestions for Australian vintage and rockability stores to try out. Um, there's still a couple more I found that I want to try out in another video, but I thought this would be